Good evening. You're watching 6 p.m. Prime here on India Today. I'm Akshita Nandagopal and this edition of 6 p.m. Prime, we're getting you all the updates coming in from Ranchi. There's a lot of activity taking place leading to questions over whether Jharkhand Chief Minister Hemant Soren is going to be arrested in moments from now. He's being questioned as we speak by the Enforcement Directorate. Sleuths are at his residence in Ranchi. There's a lot taking place right now in the city. We'll get you the latest on that. A look at the headlines first. Big win for the Hindu side in the Gyanwapi dispute. Court allows Hindus to offer prayers at sealed mosque basement. Muslim side says they will appeal decision in the higher court. Congress and Trinamool bitter feud out in the open. Congress blames Mamta for Rahul motorcade attack at the Bihar-Bengal border. Mamta refutes claims BJP Nitish's hand. Prime Minister Modi warns opposition against any disruptions during budget session, urges opposition to introspect and stop Cheer Haran of democracy. Jo Adatam Lok Tantrik Mulyoka Cheer Haran Kartehe, as a Sabhi Mania Sansad Ajab Akari Satrame Milrahetab Jarur Atman Richan Karengi. कि 10 साल में उन्होंने जो किया किसी को याद नहीं होगा चंडीगढ़ में अपोल शोडाउन एस्केलेट्स अप कांग्रेस स्टेज मैसिव स्टार आफ्टर डिफीट हाईकोर्ट आस्क सिविक पोल बॉडी टू रिप्लाई टू आप प्लीज सीकिंग कैंसिलेशन ऑफ पोल्स ओवर अलेज्ड वोट टैम्परिंग Fifth, the ED summoned to Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal over the Delhi Liquor Gate probe between February 2nd and 3rd. Kejriwal has already ducked the first four summons. And Karnataka Congress MLA Balakrishna threatens voters, wants no guarantee if no votes come in upcoming election. BJP lashes out as Congress has already accepted Lok Sabha poll's defeat. Is Jharkhand Chief Minister Heman Soren going to be arrested in moments from now? This hectic activity currently underway outside his Ranchi residence, which is where, remember, ED officials currently are questioning Soren. So five hours on, the grilling continues, but there's also footage coming in uh, of, in fact, empty buses that have made their way into the Chief Minister's residence. We'll put out that visual for you in just a bit. These buses have made their way inside the CM's house in Ranchi, uh, and it's led to speculation on exactly what's going to happen next. Apparently, MLAs also are getting set to take their next course of action. Remember that they've signed off on their, uh, their support, essentially, on who could be the successor to Chief Minister Sorin if he is taken into custody, if he's arrested. These are live images on your screens right now of the CM house in Ranchi. And I want to take this across to Shreya Chatterjee, who's joining us live from that very location. Uh, Shreya, good evening. Hectic activity underway there. We just saw empty buses making their way inside the Chief Minister's residence. A lot of security deployed there. All of this leading to endless speculation that it's only a matter of time before Chief Minister Sorin is arrested. Well, yes, uh, that's what it is looking right now because we've seen the DC, Rachi, SSP all go inside uh, the residence of uh, the Jharkhand chief minister as the enforcement director team is still present inside. Now, uh, Akshita, it is a dramatic uh, scene that we are probably expecting to unfold right now in the capital of Jharkhand because we do know while the ED team was inside an FIR was lodged against the ED officials under the SCST Act. So somewhere down the line while the ED team might just move arrest, what we are looking at right now is a plan B from the Jharkhand government. Uh, we may just look at a dramatic turn of events where uh, there could be, sus uh, I mean, uh, possible action against the ED officials as well, because you can just look at the kind of preparations around just 
to see the number of vehicles on uh, standby. These are SSP, DC, all senior rank officials, IG, DIG, they're all inside um, the residence of the Jharkhand chief minister. The director of mines have also gone inside uh, is uh, what uh, we just learned right now. So this is a dramatic visuals that we are giving you live from outside the residence of the chief minister. Uh, development uh, expected any moment. We're just waiting for a word of confirmation. But right now, the movement is signaling towards a dramatic turn of events. All right. Let me also bring in now Munish Pandey, who tracks the agencies very, very closely for us. Munish, what are you hearing? Shreya saying that it looks like it's only a matter of time. Is that what you're hearing from your sources as well? That's true, Akshita, because we have been given to understand is that on all three aspects, the three cases, the illegal mining, the coal mining and the land scam case, he has been questioned. But right now he's being confronted with the documentary evidence and we have been given to understand is that the ED officials are not satisfied with the responses given by Heman Soren in his defense. So certainly it is going to mount more trouble for Heman Soren and uh, it, is, uh, it is now up to the ED officials that whether they will ask him to come again for questioning, give another date for questioning or whether they want to arrest him today. Akshita? Uh, so far, uh, you know, the questioning that's going on right now, Manish, five hours and and counting uh, what ex exactly are you picking up on what Surin really is being asked because he skipped the last many many summons so the ED I'm sure when they went to his residence went equipped with all the evidence also that they have against Mr. Surin. Well Akshita you know there are three aspects of the case the one is the documentary evidences the second is the statements recorded under section 50 of prevention of money laundering act and third is the evidence collected during the searches by the enforcement directed in all three cases what we have been given to understand is that there are statements of bureaucrats there are statements of witnesses and suspects in the case and those statements points uh, some illegality from the part of Mr. Heman Sorin that is going against him. Second, we have been given to understand is that also the ED has recovered some evidence in the form of uh, you know documents and these documents were recovered by ED during the searches on several premises linked to these cases. Now those documents are indicating that Mr. Hemun Sarin was not only aware of these scams, but also he was involved. Now, these are the allegations at this point of time by the enforcement record, but ED claims these are solid evidence against Hemun Sarin. So certainly it is going to be extremely important, Akshita, that what ED does next. But they are saying that based on these evidence, mm -hmm. if they want to arrest Hemun Sarin, they can move ahead. Okay, so they're saying we have enough evidence to go ahead and do that. Thanks very much, Monish, for getting us all of those details. Now, Shreya is also been telling us that you've got several officials, the DC of Ranchi, uh, the SSP, all of them are right now inside Chief Minister Sorin's residence. So you are seeing a lot of activity there, indicative and suggestive that Chief Minister Sorin could just be arrested. But as Munish just told you, three cases essentially that Chief Minister Sorin finds himself in trouble in. A land grab case, illegal mining and coal mining. So obviously with the Enforcement Directorate investigating each of these cases and they claim, by the way, that in all three, they have ample evidence against him on Surin. It's definitely lo not looking good for the Jharkhand Chief Minister. I want to round up for you all the updates that have come in in the last few hours. As Chief Minister Surin today geared up before the ED landed up at his residence by meeting with his father, seemingly figuring out a succession plan politically as well and ensuring that all supporters gathered in large numbers. Enforcement Directorate in action. Jharkhand Chief Minister Heman Soren is under scrutiny. Investigators descended on his Rachi residence. Security around his home increased. On Monday, the ED confiscated two BMWs, 36 lakh in cash and documents during searches at Soren's official residence in New Delhi. The ED is investigating at least three cases of money laundering. Investigators suspect his involvement in illegal mining and land deals. When the enforcement director is just questioning him and Surin uh, allegedly because of his links to Benami properties and the illegal mining scam, we also see him and Surin responding to the enforcement director's action by registering an FIR against the ED officials, suggesting that they are trying to tarnish his image because he's an SCST leader. 
In an email to the ED on Sunday, Sorain alleged that its actions were driven by a political agenda to disrupt the state government's functioning. मुख्यमंत्री को लापता का पोस्टर भाजपा ने जारी कर दिया है पिटल साहब उसको करने दिए नो कौन पूछ के गया था क्या उसका नियम था जो ईडी किया उस तरह जाने का है नियम Within the chief minister's imminent arrest looming the ruling JMM has devised a contingency plan In a strategic political maneuver the chief minister has secured the signatures of party MLAs on two blank papers According to sources close to the matter these documents are letters of support for two potential candidates Kalpana Sorain the chief minister's wife and state cabinet minister Champai Sorain one of which may be presented to the governor in case Hemon Sorain faces arrest speculations about a break within the party ranks also abound Basan Sorain Hemon Sorain's younger brother and Sita Sorain the chief minister's sister-in-law are said to have a backing of 18 GMM MLAs Party patriarch Sibu Sorain is also reported to support Basan Sorain as the new chief minister in the event of the incumbent's arrest. The political drama in Rachi reaching its crescendo as the ED investigations into the alleged role of the chief minister in dubious deals deepens. Bureau report India today. Let's take this back to Shreya Chatterjee for more details of what's really playing out outside the Chief Minister's residence right now in Ranchi. As we've just reported for you, you've seen buses going in, top officials also who've made their way inside. There's a lot of talk, Shreya, that MLAs also are getting set to move in large numbers towards the Chief Minister's residence. Can you confirm that for us? Um, well, that's exactly what is being suggested from our sources inside uh, the other residence, uh, which is in the same compound where uh, the CM is being questioned. Now, the MLAs and the leaders who have been camping over here, they since morning started to arrive. And what we're right now learning that uh, buses have arrived for them to possibly move to the Raj Bhavan, uh, where they will be gathering, showing uh, a, a support of strength is what we are learning. Uh, but they're probably just waiting for a final word uh, from what exactly transpires exactly here. Exactly. Show of strength about. See, is the show of strength to do with Chief Minister Sorain himself after the ED questioning to kind of prove that look, I'm not going anywhere, or is the show of support being planned in case Chief Minister Sorain is arrested and there's a successor who's put in place? Well, that will be both in case, uh, uh, Akshita, because right now what we also look at is with the possible arrest of him and Sorain there will be a change of guard and that's possibly one of the reasons why uh, the leaders and the MLAs would want to meet the governor whether the governor gives time is something that we'll have to wait and watch for but it is going to be a dramatic turn of events that we're probably uh, expecting here in Rachi because we are still all on standby outside the CM residence as it's been almost 15 minutes that we've seen the SSP uh, the DC the IG the DIG they've all headed inside we've seen the director of mines uh, also go inside and as our colleague Munish was pointing Pointing it out that there are evidences against him and Sorain, not just in one case, uh, not just in the land scam case, but in illegal mining as well as in the coal scam. And last time the enforcement directorate went ahead with their fresh action in the national capital, their sources very categorically told us that their action was based on fresh inputs. So clearly, what we are seeing right now uh, is ED, uh, who has come on him and Sorain's door, preparing their case very tightly. And clearly, the, uh, the Heyman Sorin government, on the other hand, has also filed an FR against the same officers who are investigating the case. So they have made it watertight. We are expecting probably a pushback if um, the enforcement directorate goes and arrests him. But right now, from the scenes outside the CM house, it looks a little grim. All right. Shreya, we're going to keep coming across to you for those updates where Shreya is outside the chief minister's residence is where there's a lot of activity right now leading to endless buzz that in the next few hours we're going to be seeing the official announcement from the enforcement directorate of chief minister Hemant Sorain being arrested. As we mentioned, he is being questioned by the enforcement directorate in three cases, illegal mining, coal mining, as well as a land grab case. So it's not looking good right now for Hemant Sorain. But... As we've been saying here on India Today, he's also kept a political plan B in place. What exactly is that? Well, earlier today, you had Heyman Sorin also meeting with his father, the veteran politician Shibu Sorin, uh, and reportedly there was talk 
about who could be the next Chief Minister of Jharkhand in case Himant Soren is arrested. Remember that a lot of his family members are into politics. So in all likelihood, it will be within the family, someone who can be trusted, a close aide of Himant Soren, who could be chosen as the successor. Of course, everyone's talking about Heman Soren's wife, uh, Kalpana Soren, being the chosen one on this. But I want to quickly put out those names on your screens in case you're really unfamiliar with the family tree of the Sorens and their political involvement. There are two front runners right now. Besides Kalpana Soren, who reportedly Chief Minister Heman Soren is pushing for right now, his younger brother, Basant Soren, is a front runner, as well as the Chief Minister's sister in law, Sita Soren. They reportedly have the backing of about 18 JMM MLAs. So there's a possibility of one of them being chosen. What we're also hearing from our sources is that Shibu Soren is keen on going ahead and making uh, Heman Soren's younger brother, Basant Soren, as the next chief minister if Hemant is arrested. Let me bring in Anupam Mishra on this broadcast who's joining us live again from Ranchi, uh, tracking all the political updates on this story. Uh, Anupam, can you break down really what is the plan B in case Chief Minister Hemant Soren is arrested? Who's the number one, uh, you know, in all likelihood successor going to be for uh, the chief ministership? Well, Lakshita, we are standing at the back gate of uh, CM residence at present. And a few a short, a short while back, we have seen uh, two tourist buses and one traveler have entered from this gate. So this is a very rare instance that these three buses have entered. And on the day when ED is grilling uh, chief minister. So uh, there is high possibility that uh, the, uh, the alliance partners, the alliance MLAs will leave from this uh, gate. And uh, there is high possibility that they will go to uh, Governor House and uh, to uh, to claim the uh, the government if 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 something happens to Heman Soren if Heman Soren is being arrested, so uh, the the name which is uh, circulating uh, is Kalpana Soren, the wife of Heman Soren, and we know that last uh, last night there was a uh, uh, there was a meeting inside uh, CM uh, CM's residence and uh, a letter has been signed by uh, every MLA uh, and and they can, they can fill that name of. Uh, Kalpana Soren instead of Heman Soren if he uh, he will be arrested by ED. So this is the plan B alternate plan uh, 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 by by the alliance and all uh, um, most of the alliance uh, MLAs are inside at the residence at present uh, 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 they are inside and uh, there is a plan that they may go out okay. may come out from this gate and go to governor house if governor gives them appointment that is also there uh, if, if governor doesn't give them appointment then they may at the gate of the governor house uh, may okay. parade all the MLAs in front of media all right. Thanks very much, Anupam, for getting us all of those details. So even as uh, the fate of Heman Soren is yet to be decided, is yet to be clear at this point, the questioning uh, by the Enforcement Directorate is still underway. We'll track the latest on that. But I also want to tell you, and this is something we've been speaking about here on India Today, of how several opposition leaders right now are facing ED heat. Arvind Kejriwal, on the same day the Chief Minister Heman Soren is being questioned by the Enforcement Directorate, has received his fifth summon from the ED. Remember that there's been a big showdown over this with the Enforcement Director repeatedly summoning Cage Rival and the Delhi Chief Minister making it clear that he will not appear before the agency, citing one reason or the other, but largely calling it nothing but politically motivated. This time around, the summon issued to Cage Rival is for the day after tomorrow, which is February 2nd and February 3rd. He's been given two days, essentially, to appear before the Enforcement Directorate. And it remains to be seen whether Cage Rival this time will choose to skip the summon or choose to appear, especially seeing what's happened with his colleague in Jharkhand, seeing what's happened to Chief Minister Soren, who's right now being questioned for five hours and counting by the Enforcement Directorate. I mean, all of this buzz that he could just be arrested. Look, the first time we came, they were a bad person. We asked the ED from ED. The fifth time we came, they are studying our legal team. जो भी लीगल टीम बताएगी हम लॉ के दायरे में रहकर ही स्टेप मिस्टर केजरीवाल हु इज द मास्टर माइंड एंड द किंग पिन ऑफ द शराब घोटाला शुड टेल अस दैट इफ देयर इज नथिंग टू हाइड इफ देयर इज नथिंग टू फियर देन व्हाई इज ही नॉट अपीयरिंग बिफोर द एजेंसीज एंड आंसरिंग द क्वेश्चंस दे हैव बिकॉज़ दिस इज नॉट द फर्स्ट टाइम ही इज बीन इवेडिंग द समन्स दिस इज नाउ बिकम द फोर्थ और फिफ्थ टाइम दैट ही विल बी इवेडिंग इट इफ there's nothing wrong mr kejriwal and you are honest 
then why is it that the courts are not giving relief to you? Why is it that Sanjay Singh, Manish Sisodia and Vijay Nair, whom you call Kattar Imandar, have not been given relief? ED को पांचवा समन भेजना पड़ा है आदरणीय मुख्यमंत्री अरविंद केजरीवाल जी को ये कहते हो कि वो जांच में जुड़े नवंबर 2023 से ईडी प्रयास कर रही है कि आदरणीय मुख्यमंत्री केजरीवाल जी जांच में आके जुड़े मैं पूछना चाहती हूं केजरीवाल जी से कि अब तो इंडिया अलायंस यानी आपके गठबंधन के बाकी साथी भी जाकर जो उन्होंने विभिन्न भ्रष्टाचार के कुकर्म करे हैं उन आरोपों की जो जांच हो रही है उनमें जुड़ रहे हैं और जाके ईडी के समक्ष पेश हो रहे हैं उनको तो किसी प्रकार का भय नहीं लग रहा ना वो अरेस्ट हुए हैं तो आप इतने भयभीत क्यों है केजरीवाल जी अरविंद केजरीवाल जी आपको पांचवी बार सम्मान जारी हुआ है अब देखना यह है कि जैसे पिछली बार चार बार की तरह आपने उसको इवेट किया है क्या इस बार आप कानून का सम्मान करेंगे या नहीं करेंगे कानून का आप सम्मान तो करते नहीं है यह आपका ट्रैक रिकॉर्ड कहता है शिबू सुरेन के बेटे हेमंत सुरेन जो झारखंड के मुख्यमंत्री है दस बार इवेट करने के बाद भी उनको कानून के सामने हाजिर होना पड़ा और ईडी के सवालों के जवाब देने पड़े हैं आपको भी कानून के सवालों के जवाब देने हैं बहुत सारे सवालों के जवाब है So it's essentially these agencies of the ED and CBI that seems to be uniting the opposition, but they've got plenty of differences as well. The most common that we've been talking about is the seat-sharing deal. But amid that, Rahul Gandhi's Bharat Jodo Nyay Yatra has also been seeing quite a bit of controversy. At the Bihar-Bengal border, Rahul Gandhi's car was also attacked, and it led to a political showdown as the Congress Adiranjan Chaudhary blamed the TMC, saying this was a targeted attack. Mamta Banerjee. has said that this has actually happened in bihar and not in bengal so let's get you the latest on that story as well the trinamool versus congress war is escalating in west bengal as the rahul gandhi bharat jodo nyay yatra re-entered west bengal on wednesday the congress claimed their leader's vehicle was targeted as it reached malda the congress alleged negligence by mamata's security forces i was sitting Beside Rahul Gandhi, in, in the same car Rahul Gandhi Ji was travelling, so I did not have even an iota of idea of how, where, the security has been breached, because virtually there is no security existing from the side of the government, state government. The Trinamool has hit back. Bengal's ruling party claims the incident took place in Bihar, not Bengal. Bangla noy, ota kati hare kishan gonje hoyeche. ग्लास भांगा अवस्था है उड़ा बांग्लाई ढूंके चे बिहारे शोभे बीजेपी सीपीएम बीजेपी अन्नीति शेख होए चे उधर राम थकते ही पड़े Not just Bengal, the cracks in the India coalition appear to be erupting in UP as well. The tussle over seat sharing between the Samajwadi Party and Congress is now out in the open. Akhilesh Yadav's party has announced candidates in 16 seats without waiting for an agreement with the Congress. गठबंधन होगा और सीटों का भी बंटवारा अच्छा हो गठबंधन तो बंधन के अंदर के जो उसके धर्म होते गठबंधन धर्म जो होता है उसके भी तो कुछ नियम है तो उन नियमों का अगर मैं पालन ना करूं तो मैं दोषी मानू जाऊंगा लेकिन अगर खुले रूप से दिख रहा है कि अगर समाजवादी पार्टी गठबंधन धर्म का पालन नहीं कर रही है ऐसा मैसेज बन रहा है डेज आफ्टर जम्पिंग शिप एंड ज्वाइनिंग दी एन डी ए नीतीश कुमार ऑफ बिहार हेज हिट आउट एट दी ऑपोजिशन फ्रंट हाई लाइटिंग द इंटरनल कॉन्ट्रोडिक्शन नाम भी कह रहे थे कुछ दूसरा उन लोगों को अब वो अपना कर दिया था हम तो बोल दिए थे कि नाम ठीक नहीं है तो अपना कर दिया तो हम कहे ठीक है हम बाद में हालत देख न लिए एक काम नहीं कर रहा था आज तक तय किया कि कौन पार्टी कितना लड़ेगी कुछ नहीं हम तो फिर छोड़ दिए कि भाई छोड़ो भाई With the deepening crisis in the India bloc, can the opposition mount a credible comeback effort in the months ahead? Bureau report, India Today.